Hi all, my name is Pia Arrhenius. I'm a professor in entrepreneurship at the uh, RMIT University College of Business and Law. And my research focuses on the startup process and the individuals involved in starting up businesses. As a young PhD candidate, I was invited to join the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor study, which is the number one study in the world about early stage entrepreneurial activity. And in this program, I actually created awareness of, of how different and similar individuals are when starting businesses in, in different countries. Entrepreneurs, women and men, uh, young, old, uh, here in Australia, which is my home, or in Finland, where I was born, or anywhere else in the globe, seek to start businesses with the resources they have at hand, performing the various tasks on setting up new businesses in individual order or fashion. I wanted to understand the enterprising process better, and I conducted the first ever longitudinal panel study of entrepreneurial dynamics in Finland. Over a period of four to five years, I interviewed 500 enterprising individuals while they were starting up their businesses to understand what they were doing and what, they, uh, what the outcomes were. My goal was to discover common patterns, if any, and to be able to provide recommendations for policy support uh, on how to make, uh, how to design better support programs for entrepreneurs and startups. My research is related to the network as I am exploring how to use wearable technology and wearable sensors as a novel data source for the study of entrepreneurial activity. Since I'm interest, interested in studying the uniqueness of entrepreneurial process, um, I'm excited to use wearables to collect data. In my research, I use wearable sensors as they provide data on the bodily responses of entrepreneurs and combined with other co data coming from uh, other sources such as diaries and interviews, I am able to create a more accurate, more comprehensive picture of what is happening in the entrepreneurial startup process. I am currently working on a project that looks at how the tasks and the nature of the entrepreneurial work influences uh, the enterprising process and the enterprising individuals. Uh, the entrepreneurial work is characterized by uncertainty, uh, lack of routines, frequent challenges and setbacks, and entrepreneurs use self-regulation to, to manage themselves in this process. Self-regulation refers to the regulation of the self by the self uh, bringing thinking, feeling and doing in accord with some uh, predetermined goals. In the entrepreneurial context, uh, those entrepreneurs who are better at managing themselves are better at focusing uh, their attention at tasks at hand, um, overcoming and addressing challenges and learning how to overcome them and maintaining the performance and well-being while doing so. An exciting project I am working on is a, a project that I'm doing together with my PhD candidates in which we actually ask entrepreneurs to wear a device, a, a wearable wristband, while they are carrying out their everyday activities as entrepreneurs in the natural setting. Uh, so we are using this to collect information about their self-regulation, their activities, their, uh, their, their stress levels. And the, the purpose of this study is to actually understand how the actions of the individual uh, influence the individual in themselves and how these individual responses then uh, affect the actions that they do to, to start up their businesses. And eventually, uh, what are the performance and well-being implications for the individuals and the, the, the startup venture? Um, and together with my PhD students, uh, we have demonstrated how entrepreneurs use self-regulation from moment to moment, day to day, uh, month to month, and they go through cycles of using self-regulation and then building it up again, uh, recovering for the next challenge. For entrepreneurs, it is important to notice that early signs of uh, self-regulation depletion as a sign of, of not having uh, enough self-regulation strength may lead to lower performance and well-being. Uh, both for the entrepreneur as individual, but also for the for the for the startup. Uh, and to summarize, sort of the purpose of my research is to increase our understanding of the uh, idiosyncratic nature of the entrepreneurial process and the, the nexus of the individual and action uh, in the context where it takes place. And by doing so, I seek to support the design of fit for purpose uh, support programs and tools that entrepreneurs can use to better manage themselves and their ventures. 
uh, and we know that uh, one size approach does not fit all. So we need to be uh, we need to get better at at providing tailored support for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial teams, and ventures. In my dream project, I would have tens, even if not hundreds, of entrepreneurs uh, wearing uh, wearable sensors over extended periods of time while they are uh, working on their startups in their everyday uh, context, in their uh, everyday setting. I would collect data on what they are doing, why they are doing, what are the outcomes of, of what they are doing. Um, I would like to know what they are thinking, what they are feeling, what they are doing, and then trying to relate that to uh, performance, effectiveness, and well-being, and ultimately trying to understand uh, why some people succeed at starting businesses where where others fail and uh, and uh, cannot 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 make it. Um, ultimately, uh, I would like to be able to support policymakers in designing fit for, fit for purpose uh, tools and programs that entrepreneurs can use to support themselves and, and the venture. And I think that um, with the help of the, the wearable data, uh, we will be able to, uh, to, to create a more uh, accurate and more, more sort of a complete understanding of, of the um, idiosyncratic nature of the entrepreneurial startup process.